Hi everyone, this is Hannah from My STEM Kits here, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about our cell membrane kit. So, the finished product of this kit is going to look something like this. It is a self-orienting phospholipid cell membrane that moves around in water the same way it would around a cell. So, how do you build it? One of the things you need to make sure you do when you're printing it is keep track of which ones are light and which ones are heavy. Now the parts are identified in the website, so just keep them separate. On my left here, I have the light hydrophilic heads and the heavy hydrophobic tails. On my right, I have the opposite. So how you assemble them, simply combine one light head with two heavy tails and snap the ball joints onto each of the circles on the head. Once you've done that, you'll have a complete phospholipid. So this one is the light head, which means it's going to float when it's put in water. You repeat the same process for the other phospholipids. Now I've already gone ahead and assembled extras. So now I have my six phospholipids entirely ready to go. The only thing left to do is assemble my protein. To assemble your transmembrane protein, simply use two chenille stems and our ping pong ball clip, as well as a ping pong ball. Now first, you start by shaping the chenille stems. You can do this in whatever um, orientation you'd like, keeping in mind that proteins assume different shapes, so you can have whatever shape you're interested in. But since it's a transmembrane protein, you want to make sure that the height is going to be the height to pass from one end of the cell membrane to the other. Once you have your chenille stems shaped the way you'd like, simply slide them through the hole on the bottom of the ping pong ball clip, twist it around there, and then do the same with the other one. Final step, insert the ping pong ball, and you have a transmembrane protein ready to go. In addition to your transmembrane protein, you can use golf balls and ping pong balls as peripheral membrane proteins. If you have it all ready, you can just set it all in your hands all at once. Get a vase or a fish tank or something, fill it with about four and a half inches of water, and then dump them in. As you can see, they self-orient the way a real cell membrane would. This model, of course, works using density, whereas in a real cell membrane, the different parts of the phospholipid are either attracted to or opposed to water. You'll notice how the proteins and the phospholipids are able to move freely about because a cell membrane is fluid. Thank you and have a wonderful day.